it's Gamer Aimer here. So this past weekend, I actually went to this pretty neat little toy show that was in Pennsylvania. So today, I'm going to show off tons of items that I picked up for some really awesome deals. So let's go ahead and check them out. So this toy show was actually at a fire hall and it had a lot of different vendors in there ranging from Legos, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys, Funko Pops, all kinds of Hot Wheels cars, some video games, and just everything in between. So I definitely fell in love when I went there. I met quite a few vendors that had some pretty awesome items. A lot of them I was interested in and a lot of items I actually picked up. So it was just really neat seeing everything together as they had all kinds of Transformers, they had Masters of the Universe, they just had so many different pretty sweet toys. Some were very expensive, others were really cheap, some had really great deals, and others I just really made out with some of these pretty sweet items. So of course when I went there I was looking for some vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Now I did see some of the new NECA releases and I did see quite a few other newer style toys. There were tons of horror toys as well. So I had to search quite a bit, but I did find quite a few Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys and then just a couple other items as well. So the first place that I actually stopped at was a buddy of mine's friend's table. So he actually bumped into me and we knew each other from Instagram. So that was pretty neat and they definitely hooked me up. So here I got tons of these pretty awesome older style Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. I usually go for anything from the late 80s to the early 90s and not too much of the newer stuff except those newer NECA releases. So we'll just go ahead and look at some of these. So of course here we have this 92 Hawaiian Tourist Turtle toy and this one is pretty sweet as it actually comes with a lot of the items here. So we have some of these guns and then we even have this guitar on the back. So this is a squishy material on the back here. So this is just a pretty sweet turtle toy and I was really excited because a lot of these actually came with a lot of their extras. So we'll just take this one out and put it right here. And then up next we have this one is the 92 Bandito Bashin Mike. So this one is just a wacky crazy figure. It was part of this Wacky Wild West line. So here we have him. He didn't actually come with any extras. And then we have this one is a pretty neat toy. So I actually have quite a few in this Universal Monster set. So this one is the Don Dracula and this is from 93. So here we have this pretty sweet figure. He actually comes with this cape around him. He has these very pointy teeth like a vampire and he just will look great with a couple of the other monsters that I have in my set. And then we have this 92 Lifeguard Leo. So here, this one comes with a bunch of extras as well. So he looks like this lifeguard and he has this squishy thing on the back of him. So this is a pretty interesting style figure and it actually comes with some of these extras right here. Looks like a little megaphone. And then on to this pretty sweet figure. So this one is the Headspin Bebop. So this one is really cool. It has this belt on it and this one is actually from 91. So here his head just spins all the way around and he has this long tongue hanging out of his mouth. So here if you just press this little thing in his arm it actually makes his head spin constantly so that's really cool and then the last one at this first table is the 90 muckman 
So this one is not complete, but this one definitely brought back a lot of memories because I remember you would just open up this spot on the head and you just go ahead and pour all of this ooze out of it. It would come out of his gut and this was just a really cool figure. So I'll go ahead and leave the information below on this first vendor right here. So I actually have their name and it's those vintage guys. So I'll go ahead and drop their link below so that you can check out their Facebook page. And then we'll go ahead and break it up with this last Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle haul. So this toy I actually got because this is Mortal Kombat related. And this company is actually Enigma. So it's toys and collectibles. They also have a Facebook page. So I'll go ahead and drop their information below as they do have tons of Funko Pops. They have some of the more rarer ones. But this one went along with some of my Mortal Kombat Funko Pops that I recently picked up. So this was a GameStop exclusive. And of course we have this 8-bit Raiden. So I had to add this one to the collection. And this one is a very heavy Funko Pop. So we'll just take a look at it. This one says number 14. This is Mortal Kombat X. And this is Raiden. So he's very top heavy as we have this 8-bit style graphics on his head. And this is just a really cool looking Funko Pop. It'll definitely look great with some of the others that I have in my collection. And then on to another pickup. I actually scored this figure right here. I actually got him for a really great deal. So this is just the front part of the box. It actually doesn't have the cardboard on the back. But this is also another video game character. So of course we have this Ninja Gaiden figure and this one is just really cool. So I had to pick this one up as I'll have to take this one apart and just go ahead and put all of these weapons and everything on here. It looks like he has a sword on the back and it has interchangeable hands and just these crazy extras with this character. And then on to this last guy. So this is where I actually scored tons of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures and vehicles. So I had to go ahead and score a little bit more. And this guy is totally Radical Relics. So he's actually on Facebook as 80s Relics. So I scored all of these pretty sweet vehicles as I don't have too many loose vehicles in my collection. So right away I got this pretty cool Heroes in a Half Shell. So of course it just slides up and we have all of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right there. This was actually a Burger King toy and it says on the back here Mirage Studios 1989 and it says Burger King 1989 on it. So this is a pretty cool little extra that was included in this lot. So we'll go ahead and look at some of these pretty sweet vehicles. So this one is actually the 91 Shredder Mobile. And most of these are pretty well completed with a lot of the stickers and extras that just clip right on. So this is really cool. It actually has all of these pretty sweet stickers all over it. We have these guns on the front end right here. This vehicle is just pretty sweet. We have this little turtle right on the front and it's just pretty wacky as it has all of these in the wheel wells right there. And we just have all kinds of pretty sweet stickers that really add some flair to it. So this is definitely pretty sweet. It says shred head on the back and this just lifts up so you can put your turtle figures right on in here. So it says Turtle Nitro on here. From 1991, this is the Crazy Carnival bumper car. So this one is pretty sweet with all of the stickers and extras on here. So it looks like all of the pieces just clip right on in. There's some spots where everything just kind of meets or it goes in together. And this is just a crazy little vehicle. So I thought this one was pretty neat as it looked like it had everything as well. So this one will definitely go great in the collection of all of the turtle toys. And it has most of the stickers on here too. And then this one is by far my favorite. So this is from 1990 and this is the sewer dragster. So this one 
really looks awesome. This one actually has this little rip cord right here where you just push it in and it moves this little middle wheel so it'll just really fly. So this one is really cool. It says pizza power, pepperoni or die. And then it has pizza gas, sauce, and just all kinds of other little stickers on it. So this one's really neat as it looks really cool. And I just love all of the different colors on these toys and vehicles as they really pop and they bring back that pretty awesome feel from back in the day. And then on to a couple of the last figures here. So of course I scored this 1989 Rat King. And this one comes with a bunch of extras as well. So we have this Rat King character. We have this belt that just goes around him. It looks like there's a squished cat right there. And then we have this little thing that says milk and it has this cat. So this is definitely pretty sweet. And then of course I had to add this 1988 foot soldier and this one looks complete as it has a lot of the extras in here. So it came with a lot of these different weapons and just pieces on this character. So I really enjoyed going to this toy show over the weekend. As you can tell, I found tons of items. I met some really cool vendors there and a lot of them actually travel all over to do different toy and game shows. So this is definitely pretty sweet as I scored tons of vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. These were all scored for some great deals. I found all of these pretty sweet vehicles that I haven't seen since I was younger and then a lot of these figures that I didn't have in my collection already. So overall, I definitely scored a lot of the awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys. They did have tons of sealed ones as well. When I walked in, I actually saw a guy holding all kinds of sealed ones that he had just picked up, some of which I already had in my collection, so I wasn't too bummed about. And then these Funko Pops were pretty neat to see. They had some pretty crazy rare ones there that were just so expensive. But I was really excited to add this Mortal Kombat one to my collection as I recently scored a whole lot of Mortal Kombat Funko Pops, so stay tuned for that. And then this pretty awesome Ninja Gaiden figure that actually looks really well designed and has tons of extras. So overall, I couldn't beat these deals and I'm really excited to add them to the toy and figure room, which I'm in now. So stay tuned as I am finishing up some things to get a pretty awesome room tour for you guys and just go ahead and check the description below on a lot of these vendors as they do go to different shows they do have Facebook pages Instagram pages so you guys can check those out as you never know you might find something that you needed so it's really cool going to these toy shows one because you meet all kinds of different people two you might run into someone that you know and three you find all kinds of items in person that you actually get to pick up, see the condition, make some sweet deals, and it's a little bit better than shopping online. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.